All right. So we are in playthrough C here for Nier. We uh, just switched back over at the second part with A2 here. We're supposed to head back to the rebel camp to get a part, I believe. The resistance camp. Hey, thanks for watching, Blue Fire. I've been watching your videos. What's the TLDR? The TLDR is I enjoy it from a gameplay perspective. Um, one of the really unique things that it does is you play through the story from a different, a bunch of different perspectives of different characters, which is neat. It's kind of like, have you ever seen like a TV show where you, um, where you like, they played the same episode from different characters perspective over the course of a couple episodes. It does that effectively. Um, it is incredibly anime, um, even in some unfortunate ways, like, uh, I can't put clothes on my character here would be, would be ideal. But the combat, the combat's good. The range that your gameplay goes through. Don't attack Pascal. Are those machines fighting each other? Thank you so much for saving me. You're a machine, too. Wait, please. I have no intention of harming you. My name is Pascal, and while it's true that I am a machine life form, I also detest fighting of any kind. Uh-huh. And machines don't have souls. They're just murder bots with a fancy name. They killed so many of us, and I swore to make them pay. Uh, I see. If that will save your soul... And so be it. You aren't going to kill me? Just shut up and leave before I change my mind. You... No, never mind. You have my thanks. Goodbye, friend. How much better is the PS5 than the PS4 and extra life? I have no idea. The PS5 is the first time I've had a non-Switch current-gen console in, ever. Never, never had a PS, PS3 or PS4, or Xbox or anything like that. I always did PC gaming growing up. I I assume more there's going to be more game or more games that have no PS4 support as we go forward. I imagine as this becomes the current generation. Right, as of as of right now, like this game, for example, I'm just playing the PS4 version on my PS5. Hey, Quasi, thanks for 11 months. Welcome back. Number two, you're still alive. Sorry I haven't been in touch, an enemy. Oh, they know each other. You survived, that's all that matters. Oh yeah, turn sub only mode off. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot that. Usually I do that when we switch to a non-magic game. I fear all of your fighting companions are long gone. I had to kill number 21 with my own hands. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. You didn't know there was a Yorha member here named 2B that looked like you? She's dead. Yep. This is one of the things, one of my small complaints about this game is a lot of this game is voice acted, but they must have changed some of the lines or something after they had their, their, um... Yeah, I played, I played Horizon Zero Dawn on PC Gilger. It's on Steam. There's random, random bits that aren't, aren't voice acted. 2B's dead. I killed her. She was infected with the logic virus. Please make yourself at home in my camp. I'll have someone show you. Memories are contained in the sword. You can go ahead and use her old room then. I'm in charge of the camp here. I'll make sure to tell everyone about you. Yeah, it's prob probably budget related, I agree. The voice acting that's that's done is really good. I haven't, so I actually did Ratchet & Clank just before the PS5 update rolled out. Any chance you can spare a fuel filter? Pascal makes them for us, so you can go pick one up directly if you'd like. Oh, look! 
We saved... We saved Pascal, and now we get a fuel filter for them. It's actually the same as the original Nier for PS3. Seemingly random dialogue lines are voice active for no rhyme or reason. Weird. We forge an alliance and trade materials when the need arises. We can't be picky about how we reach our goals around here. Besides, we aren't so far gone that we kill the life sheet form machine life forms after this render. All right. Alert. A broken filter will cause significant problems with fuel distribution. Proposal. Killing Pascal gives you a joke and dang. Ah. Yeah, I know. Coordinates confirmed for a colony centered around the machine life form known as Pascal. Location marked on map. You don't know when to shut up, do you? A2 did get 2B's pod, and she's very annoyed with it. 2B's last order was to send her pod to follow 2A, and 2A doesn't have the authority to tell the pod to go away. So they, they kind of bicker back and forth in a way that's amusing. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. The writing in this game is well done. This one that has a shop? It does. Well, I can buy things here. How do I know how do I know what I need? Well, I have a lot of these. Did I need pearls? I have a ton of money. We can buy buy some of them. Hey, go. We can get back here later. Get at least ten of everything. Yeah. Okay. But do I need like tree sap and torn books. I'm not using the money on anything else. Well, I probably can't get to Pascal's shop from here, huh? We need to get up. Where is it? Was it through this way? This is not the angle they usually come in from. We couldn't. We couldn't teleport through. Oh, it was up this way, right? Huh. You help him build a rocket to Mars. <laughs> 
There's machines everywhere. Analysis. This is a colony of pacifistic machine life forms led by the unit known as Pascal. It is logical for a large number of machine life forms to be present. This pod has concerns regarding your high unit A2's predictive skills. I'd be more concerned about me smashing your face if I were you. She really she really doesn't like her bot yet. The woman from before, thank you for rescuing me. How can I help you? Your high unit A2 possesses a faulty fuel filter. She has obtained information. Leave the resistance camp. She has traveled to the village in order to obtain a new filter. A2's lack of verbal communication has made this pod's assistance necessary. <laughs> I see. Sadly, I'm a bit short of materials right now. I need rigid tree bark to create a filter. The location I know is guarded by ferocious machine life forms. Great, I can't make the filter. A2 will secure rigid tree bark. Areas where rigid tree bark is available marked on map. God damn it. Analysis. Hostility toward the peaceful machine life form Pascal is pointless from an energy usage standpoint. Proposal. Form a friendly relationship immediately. You've got to be <laughs> kidding me. <laughs> uh. Forest Zone Center. At least the character is appropriately annoyed by the fetch quest. Yep. I mean, to be fair, the fetch quest involves killing robots, which is, like, what she lives for at this point. So, like, it's kind of surprising she's a little annoyed by it. This is, like, her purpose, her self-appointed purpose in life. All these feral hooks, shit. A2 needs her AR-15 stat. Is the random error that keeps coming up because of the fuel filter? Oh, that's right. She did kill the king, didn't she? Oh, 
Oh, that's the two sticks ability. Got it. Right. She can go into crazy mode. HP plus three. Item numbers are all going up, Chip. Why does it just keep running away? Rigid tree bark obtained. Guess I'll go back to that machine. All right, chat. We gotta run past the hogs again, okay? Royal chamber for the for the blacksmith. See if we've got the upgrades for the just like pig ramming us that we're trying to transport. It's like not that far. Just a quick quick pit stop. See if we can grab. Uh... I've got I've got the level four upgrade on my spear already. See if we can get level four on the sword. He's down and down into the right, right? Yeah. I need, I need memory alloy, pristine cables, and machine arms. I don't really know I want to upgrade anything else. There's only two weapons I use. 
Oh, we were missing pearls for the 40 fists. Sure, let's upgrade these and try them. Numbers are a little bit smaller still. Maybe we'll play with those later. Hey, Metafuse. Thank you for the 25 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. What's everybody bring out today, by the way? Not one of my normal stream times, but a chill day with the family. Wanted to review some magic cards and play some more of this. Does anybody know? Don't don't spoil what's going to happen, but how how close am I how close am I to the end of the C playthrough here? How many more? How many more hours we think? Four to four to six more hours? Three, three hours or three streams, three, three hour streams. Five to seven. Okay. Here's your stuff. Uh, thank you so much. I'll make a filter right away. Please just give yeah, me Yeah, see, like, the last time we interacted with this, it wasn't voice acted, but this part is. He can fly. We literally watched him fly already. Alert. The machine life for Pascal has returned. I need to pay you back because it would bother me otherwise. How conscientious of you. So if you think of something, let me know. I do have a bit of a problem now that you mention it. A ferocious machine's been attacking our children in the area where they play. Could you possibly slay it for us? I hope you'll agree we don't really have anyone else to ask. Sure. I should look at whatever that other weapon they gave us was, huh? Weapons made of black armor from the east. Weird, they got like a face on them. I got like my, my spear sword combo at the moment. Yeah, I don't really do completionist playthroughs. Usually usually just main story stuff. Yeah, most most time to beat said 20 to 30 hours. I built this village, I had to test fighting. I wanted it to stand as a monument to the power of peace. When we surrendered our weapons, we lost the ability to defend ourselves. Now within the now, many within the village want to rearm and vanquish nearby enemies in order to preserve our peace. What do you think we should do, A2? It's for you to decide. I suppose so. Let your village friends know if anyone tries to attack me, I'll wipe this place clean off the map. <laughs> I will make firm note of it. A2? 
If you'd like, you're welcome to take a look around our village. It would be nice for you to know more about us. Sure, if I feel like it. Hey, big sis. Come on, big sis, play with us. I don't play with machines, don't get lost. I'm an android weirdo, I'm your enemy. What do you say I kick your sorry ass? Not supposed to make you happy. Big sis, make us something to play on. Not buying you squat. You have to. Play with us accepted. Respect Pascal, you know. I mean, he's the one who thought to build this village for our outcasts. I really need to show him how thankful I am. Boy, there was some way to thank him. Am I obligated to do some of these Pascal things? Is this the next part of the storyline? No hint, I just want to show Pascal how appreciated he is. Anyways, I was thinking he might like a new philosophy book. I hear they have such things at the resistance camp. And I'll get you the book. I owe the little clunker a favor or two anyways. That's wonderful. Apparently someone named an enemy has a large collection of books. You just need to go steal one. You know, I, the character rating on A2 is interesting, but a lot of people earlier on said they liked this third part of the playthrough the best. And I think so far, um, so far the first part I think was probably my favorite. A lot of, a lot of this last part's been more fetch questy. Which like, it still has like the reasonable combat, but I think in terms of like characters developing and like, like I don't, I don't really know I under, like, I don't really know that I understand or feel like there's much of a story going on here with A2. We're just kind of, like, existing as opposed to, like, fulfilling a storyline. Like, it feels, this feels kind of unguided, open-worldy as opposed to progressing a specific story. We wonder how much we really know about our enemy. I wonder. Where the state ceaseth, there only commenceth the man who is not superfluous. I was slightly less bad at the hacking by the end of it. Wait, what? Wow, look at you. Your speaking has improved so much. 
That was... The switch to Pascal here was real random. known as Pascal, has encountered difficulty. Proposal. Unit A2 should investigate Pascal's village immediately. I'm on my way. Well... Hit that jump. I missed that jump a lot of the time. It's a shortcut when we hit the jump. This is the opposite of a shortcut when we miss. This doesn't look very good. Hopefully Pascal flew away, huh? The, hell? the machines are eating each other? Pod, where's Pascal? Unknown. Uh, Cannot establish connection. part of the character I handle this but what about you these guys can't touch me now move your ass right Get off the ladder. <laughs>
Do I need to kill the snake thing? It doesn't stop to fight me either. Killing this specific snake is the hardest part of the game. <laughs> yeah, it's not. That's not great design. Is there something I'm supposed to be fighting over here that I'm missing? Scan for survivors. Scanning. No life signs detected. None, huh? Pascal, can you hear me? <sighs> hey, too. How is my village? My people? I'm sorry. I couldn't help them. Oh, no. Are the children all right? I've taken them to the abandoned factory. All right. I'm on my way. At least somebody thought of the children. Yep. It's nothing bad's ever happened to the factory. Listen, it's not like there was a robot cult there last time. They all they've all become gods and cleared out, right? So it should be fine at this point. Become gods, become gods.
Pascal, are you okay? <sighs> Me too. So what exactly happened? I don't know. Some of the villagers just started to feed on each other. If you hadn't come along, I'm sure we would have met the same grim fate. Thank you. Query. We understand that machine life forms can regenerate as long as they possess the required materials. Is this accurate? Unfortunately, we cannot regenerate our cores. Cores contain the data which forms our self-consciousness. If one is destroyed, there is no way to restore it. We usually store our cores in safe places, but this time, the villagers had their cores destroyed as well as their bodies. I see. So is this factory safe? It was once occupied by a cadre of fellow machines that had gone berserk. However, to be took care of that threat, it is quite safe now. We've been using it for storage for some time. All right. Still, if we're gonna hole up here, I wish we had more info to work with. Proposal. Unit A2 should secure the safety of Pascal and the children immediately. What's the hurry? Haste is predicated on data obtained from the recently restored cross-regional pod network. Wait, there's more of you? Affirmative. Cross-regional data reveals a large number of machine life forms amassing around these ruins. What? Smash them before they can reach this room. You, you must let me help you. I will smash them up and kill them. Are you supposed to be heading through here? Other side? Isn't that where we came in from? Pascal's not a pacifist anymore, chat. These bastards won't stop. Hey, two more. I have an idea. Please buy me a bit of time. Yeah, over overclock's busted. It's real good. They're still coming. They're not A2. I can handle this.
are solidly no longer pacifistic, chat. Robot should scoop solidly in garbage time. Uh-oh. It's oil rig on oil rig violence, chat. Of soccer robots, yeah, basically. Oh, he might be a little slow. Oh, no, yeah, no, Pascal. We gotta wind our robot up first, Chet. up way first get him <laughs> with the right hook never get between a Pascal and their children chip Thanks for the assist. Oh man, is that machine cord gone? Did I get all these? There were a ton of prizes out here. Did A2 pick them up or did I lose them? Oh man, I guess we don't need extra money. I'm gonna be tilted if we didn't if we don't get to pick those prizes up. Tell you about this game, please. It is a um their own course single hey, player story driven game themselves. where you play as an android and other various characters. Why? Why would they do such a thing? I taught them everything. All my thoughts and emotions. I thought it would serve them well in the future. But instead, how would teaching them lead to something like this? I don't understand. I taught the children what fear is. <laughs> I thought they had to know so they wouldn't rush heedlessly into danger. Well, shit. Instead, fear destroyed them. We taught. It caused them to take their own lives. We life. taught the if robot children happen, fear and it caused mass happened. robot children suicide. Well, that's. 
There actually isn't a remaster of the original Nier yet, but it, we're supposed to be getting one soon, later this month, actually. circuits. Pod. Pascal's memories. Understood. Initiating memory deletion procedure. Memory My name is Pascal. I'm the leader of this village. And the the range of game players you can see we are now a 2D shooter here for the hacking portion. Nor normally the hacking has some shooting back at you. You promised to read and memorize that botanical field guide, remember? This is a story driven <laughs> hacking part. <laughs> the only damage you take in this hacking is emotional. <laughs> I think we lost that machine core and those other items out there. That's sad. So, for this part of the story, you bounce, for the whole, the whole game, you kind of bounce back and forth between characters, people asking you to tell you about the game, and you see how the things unfold from different characters' perspectives. So it looks like we played through all the 2A part, and we got a little bit of 9S to go through now. 9S has destroyed the core of a resource recovery unit. He has obtained an authorization key. But I am concerned about his worsening psychological state. Oh yeah, 9S is like really breaking down. Care should be taken to prevent 9S from coming into contact with A2. Affirmative. Likewise, this pod will take care to see that A2 avoids unit contact with unit 9S. The stuff makes happy. Yeah, that was our second part of A2. Abnormality detected in vitals of Unit 9S. Proposal, commence data overhaul immediately. Pod, search for the other structural units. I need to find those authorization keys and destroy the tower. Alert, combat inadvisable during abnormal vital conditions. It's fine, run the search. Scanning, actively operating enemy large structural unit detected in accessible location. Marking location on map. All right, where are we going? Flooded city coast. Got it. Right, let's head back to the transport unit up this way, if I recall correctly. So now, now we're playing as a different android. Playing as 9S. So this one, this one has close on. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Oh, that's fine.
Why are they so mad? Yeah, well, you know. They just know an android killed their, killed their thing. If you go back to Pascal's village, there's a new shop. That's interesting. Oh, could you spare him? I tried the fishing mini. Game. I've not. I don't really do non-mandatory mini games when I do game playthroughs. Hello, this is the resource recovery unit. Now activating defense mode. Uh, we checked our plug-in chips. Um pretty late into the last session. If I recall correctly. We, re we redid them because the last the last recovery tower we did had a bunch of stuff in it. So this is what the hacking minigame looks like inside of combat. You can hack into robots and cause them to take damage when you hack when you hack them successfully. And the stronger the robot, the more complex the hacking. Happy 14th month of, month of March, Sniper. I appreciate the tier three. That's very generous. You welcome back. Good evening. Up an attack plus three. There's something written here too. It reads soul box. The last one was a meat box chip. This one's a soul box. Yikes.
The fact that there's all the purple ones that you can't cut through is really rough. It's like less bad now that I'm better at it, but like, I don't know. I liked that for the other one hacks that you like had to do to progress the story. They gave you unlimited tries inside of it. Like this is, we're probably gonna be stuck here for a second. Like the purple, the purple shots that you have to dodge combined with the silver front on some of those means this is really tough up here. system protection before I can reach the core. Huh. So that's how it works. The way I saw it, the purple shots are the ones you really have to pay That's not true, because the yellow ones will get you from the sides. Hijack boost plus six? Now they're just messing with us. What do the what do the hacking chips do? These just increase These just increase you against like actual enemies, right? Yeah, the hacking chips don't help with this. Strength and remote controlled enemies. These are, these are, sorry, these are hijack boost, not hacking boost. Oh, that should happen. I was like, where did my where did my health total go? I ran into the wall. Okay. So let's not run into the wall this time. Yeah, a 9S definitely undergoes the most intense uh character development in the game. Ow. But I wasn't gonna do that this time. Anti-chain damage plus six? Excuse me? The current anti-chain damage is four for 11. So open attack up three. I should probably merge. Yeah, I assume we're getting towards the end of the game so loot's really scaling up. I should probably stop and merge some of these at some point. That's a 16. That's quite a bit. Analysis. 
There are two blocking devices on this floor. Proposal. Hack into all blocking devices. Four seconds is a long time. You're not wrong. It's almost it's almost enough time to trigger my auto heal. Which is kind of insane. <laughs> Barakoli Obama, thank you for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate the support. Welcome to the channel this evening. All right, let's try and go to the left this time. This was a, uh, this is a distraction. I gotta get through it. Whoever said the last hacking was the worst one. Let me tell you about this one. The red the red things are the worst part about the hacking easily. Oh wait, it's different this time. Sick. Hey, well welcome welcome to the chat. It's good to see you here. That's one of the nice things I don't do because of the family and other equipments, I don't get a chance to do off on stream hours occasionally, but it's nice to do evening and weekend stuff on occasion to grab viewers that other, otherwise wouldn't be able to drop in normally during the week. Yeah, yeah, this game's been really good. I don't know that I'm going to get to replicate right when it releases, but it's definitely something I plan to play this year. This game this game's been good. The system, systems this game uses are good. Damn it, Bobby. Hate taking the L early like that, chat. All right, well. Excuse me? Combat Replicate will be not nearly be as good if it's a true remake. It's being made by different developers. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I thought it was being made by the same people. Oh, it's a it's a remake. It's not a remaster. Is that? I thought I just assumed it was a remaster. Third time's a charm. I agree with Dr. Dr. Pernas. Probably, probably just want to wait and see. Mother.
Bam. Never broken a controller out of frustration. I am not. I'm not. I'm one to swear on occasion at my video games. I'm not one to smash keyboards or controllers or peripherals or anything like that. Have we gotten good, as the kids say, chat? The tower system outline facility processes computerized resources sent by resource recovery units for its launch device. Made up of 256 stranium, it can filter and compress information with a turbidity of less than 2300 and have recorded into the payload approximately 27 minutes and 32 seconds. Details. Regarding routes required for digestion of androids are recorded separately. That huge structure is some kind of launch platform. A structure that size could probably shoot something into space pretty easily. So this is some kind of cannon aimed at the human server on the moon? Insufficient data. Cannot confirm or deny. Damn it. Oh, right. Because Adam and Adam and Eve thought there were humans on the moon and they wanted to they wanted to bring the humans from the moon back to Earth, right? They didn't know that all the humans are dead. There are three blocking devices on this floor. Yeah. And I hack into all of them, right? You miss the humans being dead. Yes, all the humans are dead. The android overlords Yorha created. Yeah, the aliens and humans are dead. There's just robots left. And like the philo the deep philosophical question behind the game is, can robots really be like people after reading all their philosophy and stuff? It's basically like the, the TLDR like question behind the game philosophically. What is what does it mean to like exist as a thing? But I gotta clear up both sides to get through. Yeah, the humans. In fact, yeah, the humans were dead before the aliens came to the planet. As you can see, I'm really bad at dodging the purple ones, chat. It's much easier when you can shoot them. As is often the case, being more patient is probably the key. See chat, no purple, no problem.
No! No! Damn it! <laughs> we are so close! It took me, it took me a while to get the hang of the, oh, did I already do this one? Okay, all right. It took me a while to get the hang of the twin stick controls. Oh, fuck me. I'm so bad with the lava walls, chat. Wait, is that the right one? Is this where I need to go? That was a circle, right? I've got to clear all of these areas. Yikes. Mother. Stupid fucking walls get me every time. Like, I literally, literally just lost both my, my lives in here to the stupid walls. Yeah. All right, we can do it. We can do it. Yes. Yeah, that, I feel like I'm not actually getting into the wall. Like, I'm not actually touching the walls and it's bouncing me into them. The hitbox, the hitbox is very wide on them. These first two actually aren't bad at all.
No, it's a necessary clear order. The last one doesn't open until you finish these. Now nah, the middle room is just a distraction. are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Alright, so... There's two shitters that spawn left, right, and then the spinny things with the blockers. So I want to kill the shitters in front so I have less things to dodge around. The wall the walls are very frustrating. They're li literally the only thing that's killing me. That's not true in the last part, but if I could bump into the walls, I'd be able to dodge easier in the last part. You know, I almost answered earlier when someone asked me how did I feel about the hacking part after getting better, and I almost answered that I liked it. But they also did what I, I, I feel like 
this section is a very like bad deviation from what we saw earlier in the game where like the man the long mandatory hacking parts they gave you a bunch of lives in earlier on and like it's so weird to me that they went from understanding for the longer hacking parts they should give you a bunch of lives to to this this is mandatory you have to break through all of these to get through the tower right yeah this is mandatory The mutual kill, chat. The mutual kill! Push me into the fucking wall. Die! Alright, where are we going? Where's the last chest? <laughs> Thank goodness. orange walls. Thank God. Let's go. See chat? Dodge no problem when I can touch the walls. Time's a charm. Only orange walls at the end. The following document details the final stages of Project Yorha. Each Yorha unit is equipped with a black box of item created by reusing the core of a machine life form. As such, it be said that the consciousness of Yorha units and machine life form share the same structure. Said black boxes were installed after determining it would be inhumane to install a standard AI in androids that are ultimately destined for disposal. from the machines? That's... No, that can't be true. Someone asked, uh, sorry, uh, Obama. Sorry, Obama. Uh, you asked about the Discord. If you're still here, there's instructions on my website not to pop in there. No, thank you. I appreciate the support. Whoa. So essentially everyone they're fighting for is dead. They're all the same deep down and everything is meaningless. I mean, I think that's, that's like the whole philosophical statement of the game, right? Like you and your enemies look different, but really you're the same. Isn't, isn't that a very human message? The message more people can stand to learn. What's but remember, games aren't oh, political, chat. Those are my memories, but why?
That's 2B data. I know these are just memories. But still... No, don't. Yeah, what, what makes you hate your don't enemy? Do this. Damn it, stop! Stay the hell out of my goddamn memories! These belong to me and me alone! Get away from them! Whoa, chat! It's hackingception. We're hacking inside of the hacking. I was like, oh, this is really easy. It is not. It is, in fact, not very easy. Oh, God. Aha! Got him! Shit. The pride cometh before the fall, chat. Man, he is he is really not having a good week, chat. <laughs> that that laugh at the end there. That was like Yeah, that was like full on that was, like, pretty full-on Joker at the end. This is the current status of Unit 9S. Affirmative. His mental state has become dangerously unstable. Action must be taken immediately. I noticed something while providing support to A2. Enemy machine lifeforms have begun sharing data with each other. We'd better look into that. I'll share the data with you, so see what you can find out. Affirmative. I also have a separate report about 9S. What is it? I'll share the data. His psychological state has deteriorated to a grave level. We'd better handle that quickly, too. Agreed. Chat, it's Saturday night. I don't have work in the morning. I think I got at least another hour in me. Not sure what we should do, however. <clears throat> Agreed. Proposal. Rest, combined with data checking and maintenance. Agreed. I will make the suggestion immediately. I, 
time central, so it's only it's only 10 o'clock here. Alert. NFCS failure. Speculation. Failure caused by intense combat and lack of maintenance. Near field controls are down? Great. Proposal. Overhaul system at resistance camp. I don't have that kind of time. Alert. Entering battle without a functioning sword constitutes an unacceptable risk. Unit 9S should have Devola initiate repairs at the resistance camp. Shit. Yeah, yeah, the pods do seem to be as much of robots as, uh... As the, uh... As the androids are. It's convenient that these vending machines survived and stayed powered here down on Earth. I don't know what our lives would be without our vending machines, chat. NFCS not functioning. I'm amazed you were even able to drag yourself here. This is gonna take a bit, so just hang tight. This is terrible. Your motor cortex is full of holes. I can't believe you even managed to walk here. All right, you're all good. Sufficiently advanced technology, indistinguishable for magic, Jack. Nice, we have two threes that are great. We have two fours that are great. Get these chips fused. threes that are great. We're gonna upgrade and sell a bunch of stuff and then re-kit here real quick, I think. Boss fight you spent seven hours on? Nope. Not even, not even once. It's a shame I don't have more overclock chips.
I'm never gonna use this 21, right? Yeah, I'll need to refill my healing items. It's not a diamond, you should probably sell it. Yeah, I mean, some of them, some of them I end up using. I don't know, we don't, and like, I don't need the money either. I'm mostly just cleaning, cleaning up inventory space, so like. But like, these eights are probably fine to keep. Upgrade pod. I need power up part S mushroom pure water. Is power up part S something I can buy? Yeah, I'm not I'm not farming a ton either. And we're and we're only playing on normal too, so like. Defense plus one. Like, I could probably pull, like, move speed out. Like, melee defense plus one. Yeah, like, there's a weapon attack five that's actually cheaper than my four. But these stack too, right? So that's probably fine to have both. I did not do a quest for the twins. Do I want to fit in anti-chain damage six? Four is a lot. I guess I'm getting better at dodging two though, so maybe I don't need that. Sell this auto heal three for 17. That's pretty bad. Well, I've still got 14, 14 spots left here. I guess I dropped this mood speed, move speed three in. Oh, do I have a deadly heal equipped? I probably want to make sure I have one of those. Okay, I have a deadly heal three. I could pull, I could pull this anti-chain 2.5. So for plus five slots, I get 1.5 seconds more. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And I have seven slots left. Reduce pod program cooldown time by 2%. Yeah, that seems fine. It's my last seven slots. No, I have nine, actually. Math is hard. Do I have a nine that I want to use? Probably just fast cooldown. It's fine. Leave, leave two unmin maxed here. The horror. Nine S, I need you to promise me something. Don't die alone. <laughs> I don't think Two B would want that either. Don't die alone. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, so where are we supposed to go from here? Is this one of those that like walk out and it triggers the next storyline? Pod, mark the next resource recovery unit on the map. Affirmative. Well, there's another resource recovery unit still. Chat, Christy sent me a message telling me she was going to bed, so. I think that means we get to play video games until I'm tired. <laughs> that means we're officially in charge. <laughs> By process elimination, we are we are in charge now. Another party tank? Pod program A one fifty volt. Strains and shocks one enemy, causing continuous damage over a set period of time. Okay, I'm into that. Oh, I can't hack the tank. I think the laser pod program is probably better against the tank. If I do the recovery, this recovery tower tonight, you'll definitely finish the game next stream. What if we finish it tonight, though? Damn it. Damn it, 9S. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, we don't have to go this way this time. Durf. I forgot, I forgot we could just walk in the front door. Sorry, we went this way twice previously, chat. How do I get out of here now, though? 4 a.m.? You think there's six hours left? She 
Okay, well, we killed a party tank at least, so it can't be considered a total waste. Yeah, with our latest weapon upgrade, our spear, our spear's dealing some real damage. Probably, that's probably a good, that's probably both a good plan and the responsible adult thing to do though. Is do this last resource tower tonight and then save the, the final tower for Monday, end of Monday's stream. Under there. This reads God Box. God, huh? What are these machines doing talking about gods? <laughs> Up and away, chip. Pod, why did the machines attack Pascal's village? Aren't they all the same? Unknown. Well, aren't you helpful? Proposal, Unit A2 should gather further data on the current state of machine life. Hello, and thank you for choosing Huh? We've got something very exciting news for everyone today. Hello, there's only one thing we need. was that? Large structural unit of machine life or origin activated to the east. A large what now? What the heck is going on around here? Unknown. Well, let's go check out this large structural unit. Are these two meet up finally? Glory, glory to mankind. Alert. Excessive combat activity will put unacceptable strain on your body. Shut up! Negative. This support unit is assigned to Yorha Unit 9S. As such, being concerned for said unit's well-being is a requirement. <sighs> Whatever.
<laughs> that combat in a box? <laughs> yeah, basically. Everybody trying to make me give up my laser. I like my laser, chat. My laser is very lovely. The first time I've had, I've come up against the timer in one of those. A lot of the other ones you were doing didn't have timers in them. Oh, I forgot to buy healing. I forgot to buy healing things at the last one. I think I have a few. Yeah, our, our loadout's pretty good when we're only playing on normal. Driving long enough to time out means you're getting better. Yeah, probably. Collect our prizes. Ooh, a machine. Yeah, I've got 12 smalls and 6 mediums. Probably get us through here. on European man. It's had a good day with the fam and felt like playing some games. We started off the stream with a set review of Strixhaven 2 because the full spoilers up for that set now. So yeah, if you're one of my magic folks, there'll be a full Strixhaven set review for Historic and Standard on uh on my YouTube tonight. Tomorrow, whenever we finish this. <laughs> We're gonna be playing for a little bit more here at least. Yeah, it's really good, Preston Pick. Yeah, it's been, it's been good very poor here, p -Man. We're about 22-ish uh, hours in. We're getting towards the end. I'll play a little bit more tonight than probably one more session to finish up the main story.
These are easy as hacks and they die in one. This game have push content post the main story. Yeah, I think there's a DLC technically. There's been mixed feedback from Chad about the quality of said DLC though. It's not really super story driven for the DLC. Pro probably won't bother with that. Well, that looks like it spins around, huh? Oh, everything else spins, got it. Pull hell stream down. Yeah, I mean, hacking these things is just like super efficient, right? <laughs> We're so close. First time I've lost one of those in a hot second. things, my greatest weakness.
Have I tried getting the pod? I have not. Or a pod upgrade? We didn't have the right materials for the pod upgrade last time. Someone said we needed a side quest to do it. Whatever, whatever it was looking for. Yeah, our character is a fine power level. We're only playing on normal too as well, so. Model 210. Operator? Oh no. So this operator model is... Affirmative. Operator 210. Volunteer to undergo Type B equipment transition during previous descent. Sent to front lines as Unit 21B. Almost dead.
Patience is fine. Please keep mission related. One. Affirmation. Well, well, well. Supplies. Shit. To be told me. She told me she wanted you to become a good person. You. Don't you dare talk to me about to me! <laughs> <laughs> Analysis. Your high unit 9S is still alive. Query. Why would unit A2 be concerned with the status of unit 9S after turning on your hub? Shut up! These are the two bots from the beginning of the playthrough B, 9S's route. <laughs>
Will really did the trick. <laughs> it would appear so. Justice. Just us here, Chet. Just you and me. Thanks everybody for hanging out today, by the way, for some late night Huglandia. It's almost 11 o'clock here in the cornfields. Here's been, here's been sweet. First time dropping in for this playthrough. We're getting towards the end of it now. The entirety of it's up on my YouTube channel. It'll be all up there start to finish. Along with all the other variety stuff I've done in Magic stuff recently. Contact initiated between pod 042 and 153. Pod 153, what's the matter, pod 042? Protocol is not an interface intended for conversational use. I was just say, well, they added an interactive part here on the loading screen. <laughs> Acknowledge, however, this pod has a confid com confidential transmission. Nice, monster. Yeah, one of, a bunch of my buddies have had their first shots, along with their significant others. We're hoping to have a game night by the end of the month, once Christy and I get poked. Understood. Begin transmission. An error has been detected in the transmission network between the two pods. Hypothesis. Said error is fragmented data caused by deterioration of transmission environment. It may be so. However, it may also not be so. Message unclear. Clarification requested. After repeated information exchanges between multiple pods, an unexpected phenomenon has occurred. We pods have developed an usually protective feeling towards support targets 2B, A2, and 9S. Query, could this be our will? Unknown. The defin definition of will is unclear. Will is the question of whether pods are capable of their own self-determination. They're learning, chat. The AIs are becoming sentient. Even if it were possible, such actions cannot be abided. Successful mission fulfillment is all that matters. Whatever the case, we tactical support units have a duty to see this through to the end. Duty, heh? You sound like an android just there. Agreed, but as androids are influenced by humans, so are we tied to our creators. Oh, the androids learn from humans, and now these are learning from the androids, Chet. Agreed, but just as perhaps. Do not die. The concept of death has no meaning to tactical support units, however, your expression of concern is appreciated. I also hope you do not die, Pod 042. Yeah. Physical check complete. Memory check complete. Maintenance mode complete. Yorha Unit 9S. Activate. <sighs> Good morning, 9S. Am I... Analysis. The enemy structural unit collapsed during battle. Unit 9S suffered damage from the fall and was placed in emergency suspend mode. Fall location was deemed too dangerous, thus said unit was transported to current location. All system checks and reactivation complete. Operator. Operator model 210 is deceased. Black box signal not found. Oh. Situation report. Tower access authentication key acquired. So the number of authentication keys have been acquired. The tower is now open for investigation. If Good. if I'm not intending to do anything past the tower is the end game, is there any reason not to dump all my money into recoveries heading into the tower? Nope, go for it. All right. I think, I think we're going to wrap here. Yeah, yeah I think we're, I think we're going to wrap here for the evening. I'm going to buy a bunch of recoveries now so I don't forget. And then uh, Monday on the stream, you think, you think two, two to three hours for the end segment will be enough to finish, finish it out? good stopping point okay
Sounds about right. Perfect. This person that has recoveries? Yeah, yeah, zero on here. Sold out! Alright, thanks everybody for hanging out. I'll catch all of y'all around later. Like I mentioned, I'm taking tomorrow off all day. I'll be back on um I'll be back on Monday morning. We're gonna play some we're gonna play some historic on Monday again, and then uh, we'll wrap up with some some near near automata. Thanks everybody for hanging out and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Don't forget, hopefully see some of you around on Monday again. Someone to host here real quick. Anyone from Hoglandia streaming? Oh, James is on. So is James. 